I just have to mention one uh, one story that is unfortunately very common among certain segments of uh, the Shi'i community. But alhamdulillah, the more moderate of them reject this, this story. And this uh, story is a complete fabrication which has no basis in any authentic Sunni or even Shi'i book. And it is a, a story that unfortunately you find especially the extreme uh, sectarian uh, clergy mention it. And this is a story that causes the most hatred uh, from that group to the Sunnis. And it is a completely fabricated story that has no basis whatsoever. And this is the story that Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, when uh, Ali did not come to give bay'ah, he told Umar ibn al-Khattab and a group of Sahaba to force Ali to come and give the bay'ah. And so they went to the house of uh, Fatima al-Siddiq, uh, Fatima uh, and they barged in. And when they barged in, they shoved the door open and Fatima was pinned between the door and her house and she happened to be pregnant at that time and she lost the child and she was bleeding and they put Ali in a chain and they dragged him in and they forced him to give the bay'ah and Fatima died as a result of these wounds in six months. Now you understand this story, if it is said with its gory details and whatnot, will cause that group to really go berserk against those who respect Umar and whatnot. And this, radiallahu anh, and this is the main story that is used to incite hatred against Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And this story is a complete fabrication. Even moderate Shi'i clerics reject it. And they say, and I agree with them, they say, firstly, this book, this story is not found even in any of their authentic books. It is found in some of their more extreme books. Yes, I'm not denying that. But it, and, and these books, so uh, this is, I love talking about theology because it's my speciality, so I can go on and on. Even within Shi'i Islam, there are trends. Just like within Sunni Islam, there are trends. And it is one of our mistakes that we blanket all of them together. We say they're all like this. No, within Shi'i Islam, there are trends. And some of those trends are more moderate and open-minded and some are more narrow and intolerant. So within their trends, they have certain books that are more moderate. Other books that are, they're called the Ghulat al-Shia, or the most extreme of the Shia. And these types of narrations are found in those Ghulat books. They're found in the most extreme books. And many of the moderate Shi'i clergy, they reject these extreme uh, books as being complete fabrications. So this story of Fatima losing her child and bleeding, and she nonstop bled until she died after six months, this story is found in one of their books. No need to go down the details of all of that. Uh, but one of their moderate clergy uh, said, uh, I think it was Hussein Nasr actually who said this, uh, that this story cannot be true because this would be a, uh, a very humiliating story for Ali radiallahu anhu that he was dragged by the chain and forced to give bay'ah and we don't expect Ali to be so cowardly that just because he's dragged and he's forced he to so actually we as Sunnis agree with this Wallahi we agree with this exactly everything we know about Ali ibn Abi Talib is that he's a brave man so even the claim that he's dragged and forced to give bay'ah you are actually humiliating him you are actually saying he was forced. If you say that he was forced by what? How could you force him? Let him lose his life if he feels he is upon the truth. As they say, Hussein radiallahu anhu did later on, that's what their opinion is, then let it be. Why didn't Ali radiallahu anhu as well lose his life? If his right was the right of the bay'ah and it shouldn't have been given to Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, then we say as well that Ali radiallahu anhu should have refused to give bay'ah and died uh, as a shaheed. But of course, the whole story is a fabrication. And last week we went over the fact that, in fact, there was some tension. Abu Bakr as-Siddiq visited Ali privately. There was nobody else with him other than the Al al-Bayt. So all of the Al al-Bayt and Abu Bakr as-Siddiq. And he gave a moving lecture until they were crying. He was crying. They made up. This hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. It is very clear. That is our narrative. 